Water, it's everywhere. From here, to here, to here, to all over here. In fact, about 71% of the Earth's surface and up to 60% of your body is water. So clearly, as we all know, water is an important substance for all living things. But it has some unique properties that make it so important. Here are one, two, three, four, four, four reasons why water is weirdly awesome. We are all at least familiar to the chemical formula H2O and the water molecule looking like this, Mickey Mouse sort of shape. This consists of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Well, this structure is the culprit of it all. Water is a polar molecule, with oxygen having more electrons, making it more negatively charged than hydrogen, thus resulting to opposite charges, positive and negative. And like magnets, opposite charges attract. And this attraction is called hydrogen bonding that occurs when hydrogen is bonded to fluorine, nitrogen, or oxygen. Because of this bonding, water has a higher surface tension. Surface tension is the measure of elastic force in the surface of liquid. It is basically the skin of the water. Out of all liquids, mercury has the highest surface tension. And next is water. Yes, water. The best example of surface tension is dropping droplets of liquid to a coin and measuring when will it overflow to the edges of the coin. Now, hydrogen bonding allows liquid water to absorb high amounts of energy before it can turn into vapor or gas. Even though water has a very little molecular weight, it has a high boiling point because it requires more energy to break its hydrogen bonds before it can begin to boil. Additionally, it has a low freezing point because it uses the same concept. This is why water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes at a 0 degrees Celsius, meaning that it does not freeze or boil quickly. The wide range across which a water remains a liquid is rarely exhibited in other substances. Furthermore, every substance has its own specific heat capacity, which is the amount of heat required for one gram of a substance to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. Water has its own specific heat capacity of one calorie per gram per degree Celsius, which is much higher than that of other substances. For example, if a piece of metal is under the sun on a hot day, it becomes hot to touch. An equal mass of water in the same sun will not become nearly as hot, thus it takes water a long time to heat up and a long time to cool down. For this next property, let's take a cup of water and pour some ice on it. Look at that! The ice floats, and that is because of density. As we all know, Density is a measure of how closely molecules are packed together. And with that definition, it is logical to say that liquid water is denser than solid ice. It is because the molecules of water are closely packed together when it is in liquid form. But when it is in solid ice, the molecules are farther apart, giving it more volume than mass, making it less dense. Now, why does this matter? Well, less dense materials float, which is why ice floats on water. So with all that said, water ultimately has the property of making life as we know it possible. In fact, scientists and astronomers look for liquid water for signs of life out there in outer space, whether inside or outside our solar system. Because of water's molecular structure and its cohesive forces being responsible for surface tension, organisms like plants and trees are able to survive. Through capillary action, water is able to move upwards through a plant in order to supply for its photosynthesis to create food. Because of its heat capacity and freezing and boiling points, water is able to exist as a liquid throughout a large range of temperatures, which is even more critical for supporting life as we know it. And because of its solids lower density than its liquid, solid ice is able to float on top of liquid water. This is why ponds or lakes freeze at the surface while the water underneath remains a liquid all winter long, allowing fish and other water organisms to survive. Isn't that just amazing? With a world this amazingly designed, there must be an amazing designer. It's been Angelito, Kral, Andre, and Joshua. And now, now you know, know that water is weirdly awesome. awesome. Woo! -hoo! Woo -hoo!